a pleasant good evening to all our viewers around the world a special good evening to all the members of the new creation ministries of Trinidad and Tobago I am your host Reverend Michelle Sandros and and this we're here with me my co-partner my God uh, leading I should say we're blazing the trail at all times is our very own Bishop Reverend Carl Sandros you know this evening it's a privilege it's a blessing to be able to come into your homes my God and break the bread of life with you this evening is our Bible study session and this evening I'll invite you to bow your hearts with me in the word of prayer Heavenly Father we thank you tonight Father we thank you for your saving grace O God Father we thank you for your new mercies in which we experience every day Heavenly Fathers your people have gathered together throughout the world mighty God to join together with one common objective mighty Father in agreement and studying your words tonight we pray that your Holy Ghost mighty Father will lead us and direct us into all truth bring revelation understanding and insight mighty Father into your words tonight Father we bind spirit of mental blockages tonight in the name of Jesus we bind spirits of ignorance oh God father let there be clarity let there be revelation understanding and insight mighty father tonight father we pray for strength we pray oh God for deliverance and peace among your people tonight in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen so tonight if you have just joined us we would like to welcome you once more to another session of our Bible studies tonight tonight I would like to hand over to our very own Bishop and Reverend Carl St. Rose before we get into the word of the Lord praise the Lord bless the Lord let me first of all say a pleasant night to all those that are out there in Facebook land um, a pleasant night to um, each of you wherever you are um, in um, the, the, the world, we give God praise and thanks for this wonderful opportunity that we can come um, to your home, from our home on tonight yeah. as we study the Word of God. Praise yeah. the Lord. I encourage you to make sure you have your watch parties um, properly well, um, um, a part of what is going on here tonight. Um, make sure you have your Bibles, um, share um, their teaching. Um, praise the Lord because tonight we would like to um, discuss the cause and effects of sin and the cause and effects of sin praise the name of the Lord um, we want to go into the cause and effect of sin and what is um, um, the cause and effect of sin and the importance of removing the cause um, to bring um, things back to its original state and you know um, we would have been talking and discussing um, what is God's original intent um, for us oh, so and, so Leslie, excuse Bishop, is asking is if the audio is low is it my device um, well I um, if you can't hear believers you can just send us a signal let us know through um, your postings here if you can hear clearly let us know if you're, that you're hearing us clearly so that we can probably adjust the settings praise the Lord let me just double check here praise the Lord um, and uh, praise the name of the Lord praise the Lord well, anyone that is not getting um, Oh, Sister Deaconess Allen is saying that her, the volume is good on her side. On her side? Yes. Oh, so then maybe it's, it's, it's on her, it's, um, um, Sister Leslie's, um, Sister Leslie's um, audio. Yes. Right? So she will have to check her audio. Sister Leslie, you probably right? need to check your audio on your device and see if it's lowered. Yeah. And you can raise it. Yeah. Um, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. That's so, the Lord. praise the Lord. So, believers, tonight we are looking at cause and effects. Cause and effects of sin. And uh, pray, we want to break it down in its simplest um, understanding. Because, um, as we are aware, you know, on um, Sunday, we would have been sharing with you that atonement it is to remove the cause. We saw. Passover and atonement they goes together and um, you will see the same type of rituals that would have been performed um, similar not same but similar type of, type of rituals right. because um, we see Passover 
the slain of the lamb and the putting the blood on the doorposts. Um, but in atonement, we saw there were certain rituals that were supposed to be carried out there in terms of having two goats and um, one would have been um, the scapegoat and the other um, would have been the goat to be sacrificed, you know. And um, we also discussed with you on Sunday the removing of the cause. Amen. And the removing of the cause, we know, I just want to draw a reference. We have today with us um, what we call COVID-19. And COVID-19 or um, coronavirus, whatsoever you want to call it, you know, um, it have caused, it have caused a lot of people to become sick. It have, it, it have caused a lot of people to die, you know, um, um, and we have thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people die as a result of the um, COVID-19. So the COVID-19 would have been the cause for these deaths. So what we have, I should say more or less, it's a pandemic. And that pandemic simply means that this plague would have spread throughout the world. Right? It can only be unless, it, um, if it was, would have been in one country or in one state, um, then it would have been an epidemic. But um, seeing that it spread um, throughout the world, it is a pandemic. I want you to note, and I'm drawing this reference to show you that the cause and effect are the cause of um, this pandemic. It is because of COVID-19. And COVID-19 um, is reaping havoc, I should say more or less. Um, all the sad experiences that we're having, right, it is as a result of COVID-19 because COVID-19 is the cause for what we're experiencing now. Amen. Right? It is the cause for what we're experiencing now. How can we get rid of um, what we're experiencing now in terms of no longer have to wear masks, and after and no longer after social distance, the only way that we can um, things can change and come back to its original state, it is if COVID nineteen is being removed. COVID nineteen, if COVID nineteen is being, as long as COVID nineteen is here, we will have to continue to wear masks. We will have to continue to social distance. Yes. Now, what the world is looking for. The world realized that it will, be, it will be difficult to remove COVID-19. So they are looking for a vaccine so that people will be vaccinated and um, it will protect them from the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. However, they will have to continue to take that vaccine. Yes. It is just like um, the, when Jesus shed his blood, the blood of, the, of Jesus Christ, it protects us from sin. But sin, but the cause for sin is there. Yes. We can become contaminated again. Amen, amen. So as long as we remove from under the blood, right? Because the, as long as we remove from under the blood, the cause for sin is still here. Amen. And we can be tempted and we can become sinners again. Yes. And we can go back into sin because you know why? That, um, that pandemic of, that pandemic of, of sin... You know, it lives around us. That plague, it lives around us. We um, will see, as I say, more less, it is even um, worse than the COVID-19 because um, every man that is born of a woman is born in sin and shapen in iniquity. Why? Because Adam, um, Adam had all of us in his loins. Yes. He had all, he was the first man. Eve was the first woman. And they had all of us in, and Adam had all of us in his lodge. Amen. So every man that born from Adam, born with this plague, so I'm born in sin and shapen in iniquity. Yes. You know, so somebody, um, I will just looking at a reference of the present COVID-19, which is the cause for this pandemic or for this plague that have spread throughout um, our world today. You know, and would have changed um, our lives in so many different amen, ways. Amen. You know, so so folks, I give a little um, a little insight of what cause and effect, and I tied it in um, to um, sin 
um, so that you will have an understanding you know, of the direction Bishop, that we are going. Bishop, it's a wonderful example that you just gave because there is, there is, I should say, uh, a difference, a vast difference with the Passover and atonement. And we do know, believers, that we are presently, we are presently engaged, my God, in rehearsals. That is the Feast of Trumpets. We just came out of the Feast of Trumpets and we are journeying towards, my God, the Feast of Atonement, which is carded for this coming Sunday at 6 p.m. Now, believers, it is important for you to understand, my God, where we are at, my God, in God's calendar and what each feast represents. Remember, we told you that if the spring feast was fulfilled in its order, then the fall feast will be fulfilled in its order as well. And there is, my God, what we need to understand is that atonement, my God, is a follow-up from Passover. Amen, amen. Because Passover, my God, the word there, Passover came first. Yes, yeah, Passover before, came first. Before, yeah. And atonement, and atonement is just the follow-up work. Praise my the Lord. God. And so we want, we want to get into the word of the Lord tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. And we want you to apply the principle of cause and effect tonight to be able to differentiate Passover and atonement, what it both signifies. Praise the Lord. And Praise it's, it's important to note that unless the cause is being removed, yes. unless the cause is being removed, then our world will always be plagued. Yes. Right? Because the cause is still here. Right? The Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, what he dealt, what Jesus did, it is Jesus dealt with the effect of the, the cause. Of sin, yes. He dealt with the effect of the cause and yes. the effect um, of the cause, the effect of the cause would have been death. And the Bible teaches that Jesus came and took death. The keys, and yes. the keys of death and the grave away. Right? But the cause remained. Right? Satan remained. So we want to discuss cause and effect and see the importance of atonement. Atonement is to remove the cause so that the world can come back to its original state. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. So atonement, it is to remove the, the, the cause. And we want to get into the word of God. Praise the Lord. So I want to hand over to, praise the name of the Lord, Pastor Michel, so, who, will, who will lead us off. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. So tonight, believers, I hope that you have your notepads. I hope that you have your Bibles. It's important that you follow us in the word of the Lord. You know, make sure that you are looking into the word of God as we even refer to the word of God so that you can see it for yourself. Amen. And we want you to make sure that you take copious notes as well. Now, remember I told you. For this uh, particular study, we need to apply and use the principle of cause and effect tonight. Amen? So we are looking at the cause and effect of sin tonight. The meaning of cause and effect. Cause and effect is a relationship between events or things tonight where one is the result of the other or others. This is a combination of action and reaction. Praise the Lord. So, um, in, 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 in essence, um, in a nutshell, it is about um, every action brings about a reaction. Yes. So, it is action and reaction, cause and effect. And as Pastor Michel said, it is a relationship between events or things, right, where one is the result of the other or others. Mm -hmm. One is the result of the other or others. This is a combination of action, action and reaction. So praise the name of the Lord. So you have the cause as a, as a result. Whatever, so say more or less, you might be experiencing. Whatever is the effect, you have to um, go. You have to see basically what would have been the cause. For you know, example, um, Bishop, if you're experiencing, uh, my God, uh, pains in your body, there must be a cause. There must be a cause because. Pain is the effect of the cause tonight. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the name amen. of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, Pastor Mitchell. So Satan, and I want you to take copious notes. Satan is the cause of sin tonight. So first of all, it's important to understand that Satan, and we will discuss that more in the word of God as we go along. Satan is the cause, or, or the devil is the cause of sin. Sin is the cause of death and the bible teaches that sin it sin is the cause of death 
So, so Satan is the cause of sin, and sin is the cause of death. And death is total separation from God. And, and, and death is total separation from God. So what sin um, have brought about, sin have brought about death, which is total separation from God. So yes. sometimes, um, you know, we say, um, we say um, um, sin brought for death. But what is the meaning of death there? Is it, is it physical death? Is it physical that the Bible is talking about here? And um, yes, we see Adam and Eve, and um, after the sin, we saw that death came upon them physically, you know, but um, it was it's much more than that, much more right? Than um, death there, it speaks about total separation from God, because yes. what sin has done, it is separated man from God. Yes. Separated man from God. So you will see God's original intention. God's original plan was always to bring back man unto himself. And this is the reason why you will see um, coming down there, um, Cain and Abel, and, um, and Abel sacrifice, and that sort of thing. And God accepted Abel's sacrifice. But as you go down, you'll see Noah. You'll see God um, told you know, Noah to build him an altar, right? You'll see, um, um, you, 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 you go down, you see Abraham, right? You see God. Um, telling Abraham that he wanted people unto himself because he always wanted to um, have fellowship with man and bring back man to his original amen, state. Amen. We go further, we see God telling Moses to build me a tabernacle that I may dwell in the midst of my people. Amen. You know, because he always wanted to be in the midst of his people. Yes. We see after this, we see God sending Christ and sending Christ so that he can be among us. The Bible said that um, Christ was God manifested in the flesh. Amen. You know, um, the word was made flesh and it dwell among men. You know, so we see God here now coming in the form of of, 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 of the son and he dwell among men. And then you see Jesus now, when Jesus leave, left, pray, they see the Holy Ghost coming, who now we have God in us. Praise the name of the Lord. We are the temple of the living God. So God always wants to get back there with man. But that Amen. is not the place that God, that is not where God wants it to be. How God wants it to be as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. The Praise end. the Lord. And we will talk about that a little more. Praise the Lord. Pastor Michelle. So remember believers, and before we continue, remember we just came out of Feast of Trumpets. We talked it depicts the feast of trumpets depicts the rapture of the church my god and what is what is next on god's calendar atonement judgment praise the name of praise the lord, the lord. so lord. we are looking at atonement to true christ the new testament emphasizes that although the old testament rituals were of benefit in showing people the seriousness of sin they could not in themselves remove sin. Right, so it is important to know that uh, uh, Pastor Mitchell said there just now um, that um, atonement through the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As we look at atonement, and remember atonement, if you break it up in syllables, it is at one month. Praise amen, the name of the Lord. Amen. So atonement mean exactly what it, what it is. Amen. It is at one month. And at amen. one month simply mean it is coming back as one. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. That which was divided, that which was separated, is being brought back to become one. It is we Amen. coming back to be one with God. One to in that original place that we always that we always were, that man were from the beginning, and in the heart of God, it was always meant for us to be one with him. He created us that we will know him, love him, and serve him. Praise the name of the Lord. So Pastor Michel said there that the New Testament emphasized that all of the Old Testament rituals were of benefit in showing people the seriousness of sin. They could not themselves remove sin. So they could not, the shadows could not have removed sin. Because the shadows was the shadows of good things to come. Amen. And the good things to come would have been the image of the thing, the substance yes. of the thing. You know, we said to you, praise the name of the Lord before, the Old Testament speak and yes. the New Testament say amen. amen. This is the reason why the New Testament is called the New Testament. Because yes. it is only called a testament because it testifies of something. Amen. So you cannot call something a testament unless it is 
if, if there is a testament, you have to know what it is testifying about. Amen. Praise the name Amen. of the Lord. Amen. So the New Testament testify of the Old Testament. Yes. And this is the reason why Jesus said, yes, I Amen. came not to destroy the law, Amen. but I came to fulfill. To fulfill. If to fulfill, they mean to, 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 to fulfill, they mean to complete it. Yes. To fulfill it, if you are fulfilling something, you are completing it. Amen. So you are not getting rid of it. It means it's already part full. So you are only filling it up. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So my God, so atonement and 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 um, Passover and feast of trumpets and and feast of tabernacle and unleavened bread and all these feasts. I want you to understand. It is uh, my God. It is it, 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 it is a shadow of good things to come. Praise my God. God, they would have partly full, hallelujah, they would have partly full the container and the, praise the name of the Lord. And the, the New Testament and the Jesus coming, hallelujah, he came to fulfill or complete the filling of it. Praise the Lord. And you know, Bishop, it's important because we know that there are many of you, um, this is the first time that you may even come into the teachings of the Feast of the Lord. Remember, we did not say an, a, a feast that were instituted by man. And it's important for you to take note of this before you can understand the plans of God. My God, because you can only understand the plans of God when the word of God is properly well dissected before you. It is properly well, my God, studied. Praise the name of the Lord. And you would realize, people, that the fall, the spring feasts have been fulfilled, right? What is next to be fulfilled? It is the fall feast. Remember, the bishop just mentioned, he said it is a shadow of things to come. Jesus said that I did not come to do away with the law. I came to fulfill it. So there, there are still some things that is need, needed to be done or finished or tied up with. You know, people say, well, I need to tie up some loose ends. There are some loose ends well to be tied up. Praise the name of the Lord. So to the end of the day, once we open our understanding this evening, my God, you would realize, wow, all of this is yet to be fulfilled. Praise, Praise the name now of the Lord. Now it's important for your um for your knowledge or for your um for your understanding, mm -hmm. right? Um, Pastor Michel would have mentioned at least twice um spring and falls. Yeah. Right? Um fall feast. And know that all of this means is is one this early. period and one earlier and one after. It simply yeah. means um, right now, what the, the one, the second um, tree that you have here, it is um, Feast of Trumpet, right? Um, Feast of Atonement, right? And Feast of, of Tabernacle. Tabernacle, right? Before that, you had Passover, you had Passover, you had um, unleavened, um, bread. unleavened Bread, you had first, um, fruits, first Fruit, Pentecost. Pentecost. So yeah. um, you had more so it, it, the, the spring and the fall, so I don't want you to be too, don't, don't um, the, Use with that in terms of uh, right. So it's just one before and one and one comes after. That is what what it's all about. Amen. Praise the Lord. So Pastor Michel, continue. They were only a shadow of good things to come, and not the very image of the things. Hebrews ten one. Praise the Lord. So they were only a shadow of good things to come, and not the image of the thing. We read that in Hebrews ten verses Amen. one. Look at Hebrews ten verses one. Um, Hebrews 10 and verses 1, it said here, For the law having a shadow of good things to come, for the law having a shadow of good things to come, and not the very image of the things, can never, with those sacrifices which they offered year by year, continually make the comers thereunto there perfect. perfect. So it was a shadow of good things to come. It could not yeah. have completed. No. It could not have completed because, as we said a while ago, praise the, the Old Testament speak. And the New Testament say Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The Old Testament speak, but yet to be yet yet was to be fulfilled. Praise the name of the Lord, amen. because it was a shadow of good things to come. And Praise the name of the Lord. Are taking copious notes, I think that is important that you write this right. That Passover, or what some of you all know it as Easter, it dealt with the effect of sin. Jesus dealt with the effect of sin. But atonement, he's coming back. My God, he's not coming back as a spotless lamb. He's coming back as judge. Praise the name of the, the Lord. The and cause. he's going to deal with the cause of sin. Praise the Lord. So do you understand the difference between Passover now and atonement? Praise, Praise the, the Lord. name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. So, and, 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 and then again, um, even, even for it to be even uh, more clear, praise the name of the Lord. Remember we said that, that when Jesus... Um, when Jesus came and died, he dealt with the effect. 
and the effect there, praise the name of the Lord, I'm sin brought for death. And we say, we saw in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we, we saw when the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ died on the cross, we saw that the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he went down to hell as the Bible teaches, Amen. and he took death and the grave away from the devil. Oh, yes. death. And we see the Bible so that was, uh, uh, saying that, oh, grave, where is thy victory? You know, so um, those were the cause. Um, those um, the, were, were the effect um, that sin caused. You know, sin caused these type of effect. Praise the name of the Lord. So we want to go on, praise the name of the Lord. I, this, I mean, this was imposed on them until the time of reformation. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 10. So, 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 so. What we, we will see it is the shadows that Israel like pass over on these things. It will impose on, on them and on Israel and even on us until the time of reformation. A reformation. Look at Hebrews chapter 9 and verses 10. Look at Hebrews chapter 9 and verses 10. Praise the name of the Lord. Hebrews 9 and verses 10. Praise the name of the Lord. You have Hebrews 9 and verses 10. We are in Bible studies. Amen. So we want to um, go take our time with you. Hebrews chapter 9 and verses 10, you have to say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Which stood only in meat and drink, and divers washings, and carnal ordinances, and carnal, this speaks about physical. If you look up the word carnal in the Hebrew and in the Greek, it speaks about physical, amen. physical ordinances. Impose on them, impose on them until the time of reformation. Amen. And I want you to take that word there, reformation. It would have been imposed on Israel until the time of reformation. Praise the name of the Lord. Pastor Michel, go so ahead. So we're looking at the word reformation. So we want to look at the word reformation. Praise the Lord. And uh, from the Greek word, it translates, it means to correct or to modify. You know, a lot of uh, young people, especially with the PS4 and, you know, all the electronic gadgets, you know, they use they usually use that to modify. So, Bishop, when you use the word modify, what comes to mind? Praise the Lord. Well, it, mean, it, it, it means two things, to correct or um, to, mo uh, to modify. Praise right. the name of the Lord. It, um, it means to correct and to modify. Seven and, things, right. Yeah, and if you go, if one, uh, if one look at the, the Hebrew or the Greek, it um it, it points you that that um that correct or modify there, it mean um, rect, um rectification, mm -hmm. rectification or setting things right. Setting things right. All right. It mean rectification or setting things right. Right. So um that which went wrong in the Garden of Eden, um that which went wrong. When, the, when 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 Paul said there, it was imposed on them until Reformation. Um, until reformation, it means that a time is going to come Amen. when everything will be set right where it was supposed to be. Amen. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. God. My God, how God um, intended for it to be from the beginning because we see when God created all things, it was perfect. Mm -hmm. Man was in a perfect state, praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. So my God, so, so the devil came into the garden and the devil caused, my God, the man to, 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 to subject himself to sin. But I want you to understand, hallelujah, that God is going to rectify that. So this is the reason why the, um, Paul said there in Hebrews chapter 9 and verses 10, he said it was imposed on them until the time of reformation. And that is, that time of reformation will only be completed after the cause has been moved. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If Satan is here, then um, things cannot go back to its original state. Amen. No. Because the cause for sin is here. Praise the Lord. Amen. So when Paul said there is until the time of reformation, it means I want you to understand that these shadows will always lead us to good things, which is the substance until the time of reformation. Praise because God. we have also the Feast of Tabernacle, yes. which speaks about when everything, when when everything is being, all rebel is being rid of, and the earth is being purified from sin, then you will see the new Jerusalem coming down to be set up among men, where God now will dwell with man. Praise Amen. the Lord. So that is the, the completion of reformation, where things now will go back 
to its original or to its perfect state. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are looking at cause and effect. Praise, Praise the name God. of the Lord. So Bless hoping, the Lord. I'm hoping that you can differentiate the two. Effect, my God, he came to de deal with the effect. Jesus came to deal with the effects of sin at Passover, at his crucifixion, but at atonement, which is yet to be fulfilled, he will be coming to deal with the cause. Yes, the cause has to be dealt with. Lord. Must be dealt with for, for all things to come back to its original state. Amen. So Bishop, it's the cause some, must be dealt with. We have some preachers here, my God, and they're, they're, they're giving you some words for reformation. My God, we have realignment coming from Deaconess Allen, from Sister Trisha Lopez. It means to enhance. Praise we the have Lord. Deaconess Allen putting back in correct place. We have Praise Sister Yvonne Joseph to change or make new. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. name Amen. of the Lord. We have Minister Sheena putting back to its original place. Praise the Lord. So we Amen. have some preachers out Amen. there. Amen. 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 Deaconess Carol Lewis to reform. To reform. To reform. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. So praise the name of the Lord. So that is what we are looking for. We want you to be a part of the studies. Praise the name of the Lord because there are others out there in the world that are looking at, at, at your um, what you are stating there and it can help them. Praise the name of the Lord because we know that we have a lot of, we have a lot of, 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 of um, um, scholars in, in, in the midst. Praise the Lord. Praise Bless the Lord. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Right. So when the Israelites' high priests had completed the sin cleansing rituals in the tabernacle... And now I, I want you to take note of what Pastor Michelle is saying here. Please um, take note because we're in Bible studies and this, I think this is a, this is, is, is a pertinent um, um, point that she's yes, about to is. make here and I want you to take note of it. Praise the Lord. Go ahead. When the Israelite, Israelite high priests had completed the sin cleansing rituals in the tabernacle tent... For the sins of the people, he reappeared to the people. Likewise, this is very important. Very important. I am going to read it again because it, it pictures shadow and the image. An image. Amen. Right? So I'm going to read again. When the Israelite high priest, that is in the Old Testament church, a church in the wilderness, when the Israelite high priest had completed the sin cleansing rituals in the tabernacle tent for the sins of the people, he reappeared to the people. Likewise, Jesus Christ, having dealt with sin fully and having obtained eternal forgiveness for sins at Passover, will reappear to bring his people's salvation or set things right or reformation to its glorious climax of atonement. Praise the Lord. So so now 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 it's important for you to take note of that. Praise the name of the Lord. It's important for you to take note of that. I'll give you a scripted verse just now. Pastor Michelle will give you a scripted verse just now. But I want to go over that because praise the name of the Lord. It's important that you understand Amen. what Pastor Michelle said just now. She said that when the Israelite high priest had completed the sin cleansing ritual in the tabernacle tent. For the sins of the people, when he complete that, when he complete that ritual, yes. he reappear to the people. He, he 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 have to reappear, or he have to come back to the people. Mm -hmm. After he go in and he complete that ritual, he had to go back to the people. He had to go back to the people to make sure that the salvation of the people is completed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So to complete that, he had to go back to the people. And I, I want to say to you, and I, I want to say to you, I'm saying something to the world out there right now, you know, and I will cause, uh, I'm causing some curious thinking. And um, and I know that some of you may begin to think um, immediately, I wanted to preach this preach is teaching heresies. But then, praise the name of the Lord, I'm going to clear it up from the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. So what I want to say to you, it is that Jesus, hallelujah, is yet to return, hallelujah, to return to remove the cause. Amen. So that we, praise the name of the Lord, will experience the fullness of salvation. And Amen. that is at the second advent, not at his appearing. Amen. When he's going to rapture the church. We're not talking about that. That's no. not when the time of the Gentiles have ended. We are talking about his second advent when he will place his feet upon the earth again. Praise the Lord. So we said here, likewise Jesus Christ having dealt with sin fully and having obtained eternal forgiveness for sins at Passover. And I want you to look at that at Passover. Praise the name of the Lord. He will reappear to bring his people salvation or to set, or to set things right 
or to set things right. I want you to understand yes. God's purpose for sending the Son it is to set things right. Amen. Amen. And the Jesus is a work. Hallelujah. On the earth is not completed yet. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Right? And uh, he will come back to set things right to its glorious climax of atonement. Yes. Glorious climax of atonement. I want you to understand that atonement, as I said to you, is at one month. Yes. And that glorious climax of, of atonement, it is when everything becomes all in all. Praise oh, the name of the Lord. Yes. When everything comes right back to its original and to its original state in accordance to God, God's original intent. Praise the name of the Lord. So let us look at Hebrews chapter 9. We praise the name of the Lord. Hebrews chapter 9. Let us look at verses 12 first. Hebrews 9 verses 12. I need to clear that up because next thing people say that we are teaching heresies. Praise the name of the Lord. So you do understand, believers, uh, my God, from the Feast of the Lord, how it's important for us to be in rehearsals. My God, you understand the plans of God and you will not be caught, my God, like a thief, my God, in the night. Praise the name of the Lord, where you are not looking, my God, you are not watching, you are in my God. slumber, Amen. my God, but you will know how to discern the times and the seasons around you. Amen. Praise the name of Amen. the Lord. So, so we are looking at Hebrews chapter 9, verses 12, and we will look at verses 28. So you are in Bible studies. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, um, Minister Deaconess Allen is saying here, man was always being prepared to rehearsal, rehearsal right? The shadow, the shadow for, the for, the, for the substance. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. And, and praise the Lord. So we have preachers out there. Praise the name <laughs> of the Lord. So um, um, we're looking at, at, at Hebrews chapter 9 verses 12 and we look at verses 20. Look at 9 verses 12. 9 verses 12 say there, Neither by the blood of goats nor calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. So he entered in. Now the high priest usually will go in and he have to come back out and present the um the the, the sacrifice yes. to, the, the, to the people praise the name of the lord but i said we said a while ago that that jesus in uh, having dealt with sin fully and having obtained eternal forgiveness for sin at passover he will reappear to bring to 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 to, 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 to the to, to the people salvation or bring or bring to uh, to bring his people salvation. Now, now let us look also at 28. Look at, at 28 of, of, of Hebrews chapter 9. Hebrews chapter 9, verses 20. Look at verses 20. Um, I know you have it. I don't. I know you have it. Hebrews chapter 9, verses 20. Look at verses 20. So Christ was once offered. Now I want you to look at that. Amen. And it's important to take note of this. So Christ and Paul is saying here. And Paul is talking after Christ's death. Mm -hmm. He's saying, so Christ was once offered to bear sins for many. Yes. And unto them that look for him, shall he appear the second time. <laughs> shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Yes. So as Pastor Mitchell said, he came as a savior the first time. But he's coming back as a judge to judge sin and to remove the cause of sin. Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise the name of so he's Lord. coming back to judge sin and to move the cause of sin. He dealt with the, he dealt with the, the effect of sin when he came the first time. Yes. And he dealt and as Paul said, he came once and he dealt with that. Dealt with that. Yes. Amen. Amen. So this is the reason why, my God, we have power. We have the power over sin now. Amen. Amen. We have the power even over the cause of sin. Yes. Because of my God. We have to resist him, this cause of sin, and it will flee from you. But it don't mean that you can kill him. You can't kill you can't kill you, you can't kill the devil. <laughs> yeah. You can't kill the devil. When you resist him, he does he does move from you and he just come back again. He does make a, a, a turn and he does come back again. The Bible teaches that he goes for a season. And <laughs> he goes for a season and he comes yeah, again. Yeah. Right? But Christ is coming at torment. The only way that you can become one pray that the world and everything can come back to its original state. The Bible teaches that the, that the very creation is crying out for redemption. redemption yeah. 
the, in, and you will see that in Romans chapter 8, the creation is crying out for redemption. Yeah. And it will not be redeemed until the cause has been removed. Yes. It will not be redeemed until the cause has been removed. Unless COVID-19 is being removed, or and it, even if they get a vaccine for COVID-19, you will have to continue yeah. to take that vaccine yeah. until, until COVID-19 has been removed. If COVID-19 is not being removed totally, um, people will always become contaminated with it. Yeah. So people will have to wear shields. People will have to wear face masks to protect themselves from COVID-19. Like we have to continue to be under the blood Amen. to protect ourselves Amen. from the devil. Amen. But my God, Jesus, hallelujah, will have to come. Jesus is coming the second time. And he's coming to remove the cause of sin. Praise the Lord. Praise so we want to go Lord. past Michelle. Praise the Lord. So, so verses 27 said, hallelujah. 28. 28 said, so Christ was once offered to bear the sins for many. And unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin to salvation. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. So we're looking at the restitution of all things. The restitution of all things. The act of restoring anything to its rightful owner or of making good or of giving an equivalent for any loss, damage, or injury or indemnification. Praise the Lord. Now, 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 now it's important to note, you will, you will hear preachers speak about restitution, restitution, restitution of all things. What is the meaning of restitution of all things? Right, and for all things um, to be restituted, for all for the restitution of all things, the cause have to be removed. removed. And um, as Pastor Michel said, that restitution it speaks about the act of restoring, of restoring anything to its original owner. Amen. So, 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 um, right now the devil is the god of this world. Yes. When the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was fasting. And Satan went up there to tempt him on the mount. And the devil looked at Jesus. And he said, all this, he said, he looked up. He said, all this belongs to me. Amen. He said, if you bow down and worship me, I will give it to you. <laughs> Jesus okay. never told him that, no, you're lying. That you're lying is a lying devil. It don't belongs to you. Yes. Because the devil, Satan right now is the God of this world. All that are in this world is the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Yes. And Satan is still the God of this world. My God, and under <laughs> his regime, it's a dying will. My God, it's, it's broken down. It's, it, it has moved, my God, from perfection, my God, onto beggarly elements, and it continues to be broken down. Amen, amen. amen. And, and to have, to have, to have, to have this world mm -hmm. that was originally in the heart of God to be a treasure of God. Mm -hmm. uh, this was one, the, uh, man is God's greatest treasure. Yes. And God created this world, this kingdom here, this, this world, mm -hmm. so that man will live here and know him and love him and serve him. And my God, the, the, the kingdom that was given to man is made up of, my God, various kingdoms because we have the animal kingdom, you have the plant kingdom, you have the, you know, you have a lot, the bird kingdom, the, the, you know, you have a lot. And the, the devil knows this, my God. And he said, I offer you the kingdoms. He is offering Jesus Christ. I will give you the kingdoms of this world. Amen. You bow down and worship me. A a a right? Amen. And, and, you, you, and you know, and you know, you know the scripture teaches, and we, we, we read the scriptures over and over, and you hear preachers say over and over, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, and all they that dwell therein. Yes. The earth is the Lord's, but but you see what is happening here. There is a pseudo, there is a pseudo, a, 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 a pseudo ruler that is ruling the earth right now. There is a, one who claimed the earth to be his. And, and, and man, I want you to understand, man was given the dominion of this earth. And man gave it to that pseudo ruler. Right? And, and, and the devil right now is the God of the world. My God, and he's so, wreaking havoc. And he's, he's the God of the world. wreaking now, havoc. Now, yes. now the point is here, um, how can restitution take place if that pseudo owner is still here? So the cause which is the yeah. devil, that, 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 the, the, the ruler of the world right now, must be removed so that things can be restored. And, 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 and Pastor Michel explained you that restitution, it is the act of restoring 
anything to its original owner, back to its original owner, mm, right. or, of, or of making good, or of giving an equivalent uh, for, the, for, 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 for any loss or damage or injury. And this is what we call, you know, see um, a lot of attorneys and, and you hear the bank sometimes, those banks talk about in them, indemnification right indemnification it means whatsoever you whatsoever you took whatsoever you stole or whatsoever you borrow it must be given back equally or more praise the name of the lord so our restitution of all things can only happen things can only go back to its original state that was in god's heart when God made everything perfect and give man dominion, praise the name of the Lord, it can only go back to that state if the cause is being removed. Pass and me, you know, praise Bishop, the Lord. At atonement, this is when this is uh, carried to happen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Ah. So you have to understand, believers, my God, what's next on God's calendar. Praise, praise the, the Lord. name of the Lord. So, uh, Feast of Trumpets dealt with the catching away of the church. My God, atonement will deal, my God, with the cause of sin. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, praise the name of the Lord. So, it, it, it's necessary for us to understand or have a definition of, 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 of sin and, and the old man. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. For you to understand cause and effect and, and the cause of and 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 effect. Praise the name of the Lord. So Pastor Michelle, praise the Lord. The Bible definition of sin and the old man. That is in inverted commas. The Bible definition of sin in inverted commas and the old man in inverted commas. The Hebrew and Greek words translated transgression in inverted commas means moral, religious, and national rebellion. So moral, religious, or national rebellion. So, so Jesus' job is to deal with rebellion. Yes. And 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 remember, rebellion started with Lucifer, with with, with Satan. I went Lu with Lucifer, and Lucifer became Satan. Amen. And then we see him in the Garden of Eden. Um, that is a, a second garden because he was in the Garden of Eden also. You'll see that in in in, in the book of Ezekiel. You'll see it also Amen. Amen. in another book. And um, he. We see him in the garden of in Adam and Eve garden, and uh, in Adam and Eve garden, and it was all about rebellion, rebelling against God. The obje the whole intention, were, the whole uh, action was rebellion. Praise the Lord. It means revolt. It means revolt. Unrighteousness. Unrighteousness. Wickedness. Wickedness. Violation. Violation. And breaking the law. And the breaking of the law. Why? Because sin is a transgression against the laws of God. Praise the Lord. So, um, sin is the transgression against the laws of God. And who transgressed the laws of God? Rebels. And Jesus' work, when Jesus was sent by the Father, it was to deal with rebels, to deal with rebellions. You will see the very millennium, the very 1,000 years, it is to get rid of rebellions. Yes. It's to get rid of rebellion because God cannot stand rebellions. No. God cannot stand rebellion. And I want you to understand the king of rebellions is the devil. Yes. He's the cause of rebellions. He is the first is the first um, being that rebelled against God. Praise yes. the Lord. Yes. We can talk about that a little more. Praise the Lord. Pastor Mitchell, go ahead. Both sin and death entered the perfect sinless world by the malice of the devil. So Pastor Mitchell said both sin and death enter the sinless world. How? By the malice of the devil. Give us a scripture verse. Possibly. Romans chapter 5 verses 12 to 21. Look at Romans chapter 5 verses 12 to 21. We are in Bible studies. So praise the name of the Lord. I think we might only be able to just complete yeah. this. Pastor Michel. Mm -hmm. We'll just complete this. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. But we'll want to complete this. Amen. Praise the Lord. So Romans chapter 5 verses 12 to 21. Praise the name of the Lord. Romans chapter 5 verses 12 to 21. Praise the name of the Lord. You have it. Say amen. Pass, um, praise the name of the Lord. Deaconess Allen is saying here. Transgression of the laws of God is sin. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. My God, Sister Lacan is saying, when the Lord steps in, Satan, watch your back. 
<laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. She's still talking about that tune, man. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are looking at Romans chapter 5, verses 12 to 21. You have it say amen. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death pass upon all men, for that all have sinned. For until the law, praise the name of the Lord, and I praise the Lord. I will uh, praise the Lord. I I I I won't. I I won't never should read all of it. Praise the name of the Lord. You think I should read all, all of it? On <laughs> twenty one. For until the law, sin was was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. Nevertheless, that reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned, after the similitude. Of Adam transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come, but not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, had abounded unto many, and not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation. But the free gift is of many offenses to justification. For if by one man offense that reign by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and for the grace of righteousness shall reign in the life by one, Jesus Christ. Amen. Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one, the free gifts came upon all men to justification of life. Amen. For as by one man disobedient, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one shall many be made, shall many be made righteous. Yes. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abound, grace did much more abound. That as sin had reigned unto death, even so by grace reign to righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. So what we are seeing here, praise the name of the Lord, it is that, and as Pastor Mitchell said there, both sin and death enter the perfect sinless world by the malice of Satan. Amen. So praise the name of the Lord. Satan is, and, and, and look, give me another script of this there, Pastor Mitchell. First John 3, 8. First John 3 and, and, and 8, we, we're running on a bit. Because we just want to just complete this part. Because praise the Lord here we only deal with just these two verses. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. So, um, look at, at, at 1 John chapter 3 and verses 8. You have it say that. He that committeth sin. And I want you to look at that. Praise the name of the Lord. That is 1 John chapter 3 verses 8. So Jesus would have been speaking to, to the very Jews here. Amen. And that is my God for each of us that um, are Christians. Amen. He said, he, my God, and John is saying here, sorry, John is saying here, he that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from when? The beginning. From the beginning, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Mm -hmm. That is, so Jesus was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. And I want you to know part of that mission was accomplished. Amen. He dealt with the with, 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 he dealt with the effect of sin mm -hmm. But the cause, my God The cause must also be destroyed Amen. Amen The cause must also be totally removed Praise the name of the Lord Praise Bless the Lord. Lord Bless the Lord Hallelujah Praise the Lord Pastor Misha God originally created everything sinless Even Satan and his angels and demons Were sinless until they decided to rebel against God so, so, so Lucifer was created sinless yes, he was. until Lucifer rebelled against God. Amen, amen. And I praise the name of the Lord. We are talking about cause and, 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 and effect here now. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. And, and a rebelling against God, rebelling against God would have brought um, his demise. Amen. And if you look at, 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 at Isaiah, I think it's Isaiah chapter 14. Verses 12 to 14. Look at Isaiah 14, verses 12 to 14. Amen. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 14, verses 12 to 14. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. You have it say amen. Amen. And Isaiah is saying here, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning, a crest and axe? Yes. 
How art thou cut down to the ground, which do it weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, for thou art said in thine heart. So we are looking at the cause here now. Amen, amen. We are looking at the cause. Um, what is the cause? Or who is the cause of what we are experiencing now? The sin that we are experiencing in our bodies. The temptations that we go through. My God, this plague that has, my God, that, is, that has taken over our world. Amen. For all that are born is born with this plague. Why? Because they came out of the loins of, 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 of Adam. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh my God, it's, um, it's worse than COVID-19. <laughs> yes, it is. But I want you to understand, we have the blood of Jesus. COVID-19 is a fruit. <laughs> yes. It is a fruit yes. of COVID-19. It is a fruit of, so, 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 so sin is the cause of COVID-19. Yes, it is. So sin is the cause of COVID-19. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, so the Bible reads here, for thou, and, 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 and Isaiah is saying here, for thou has said in thine heart, I will ascend unto heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Mm -hmm. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the side of the Lord. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. Yes. I will be like the most high. Mm. I will be like the most high. But if you look at verses 50, and you see what would have been the effect of, uh, yeah. of, uh, 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 of Satan's behavior, exalting himself above God, rebelling against God. It's all about rebellion. Amen. And you will see um, in verses 15, Isaiah said, Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, Amen. to the side of the pit. Amen. To brought down the hill to the side of the pit. Right now, Satan is not um, Satan is not living in a pit. No, he's not. <laughs> right now, Satan is not living in hell. No. The Bible teaches that hell was made for the devil and his angel. Mm -hmm. But why he's not there yet? Because the fullness of atonement, it is when he will be removed. Amen, amen. And it has not yet been fulfilled. <laughs> and it, it has not yet been fulfilled. Amen, because amen. Satan is still on the loose. Amen, amen. But hell was made for Satan and his angel, but Satan is still loose. Now remember, it was never made for man. Eh? Hell was never made for man. It was never made for man. Man, man chooses, that is true choice. His choice, he chooses to go to hell. Amen. So my God, tonight, believers, I'm hoping that you understand, my God, the reason for atonement. I hope that you understand uh, the, the difference between Passover and atonement tonight. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Right. The mission, be, yeah. uh, the mission was different. Amen. The mission was different on both occasions, Passover and atonement. A amen. No, no, no. Listen to me. It will be so terrible for Satan. It will be so terrible for Satan when he be with me right now. Satan, right now, right now Satan is a star boy. <laughs> Satan is a star boy. Every, every. Listen to me. Satan have Satan have more followers than God. <laughs> <laughs> Satan right now have more followers than God. But hear what the Bible said in verse sixteen. Oh Look at verse sixteen of of the same of the same Ezekiel chapter fourteen. Look at sixteen. The, the Bible said, "They that see thee." When, when you go down to the side of the pit, they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying, Is this the man that made the earth tremble? <laughs> now, <won't you laughs> that be, didn't share kingdoms? Come on, wouldn't you be foolish? And the cause, he's shaking kingdom right now. Yes. The cause, you see, the cause is causing the earth to tremble right now with COVID-19. Yes. He's running a bucket, doing what he wants. Oh, it's only because of us, the hinderer of lawlessness. We are still here. We are able more or less to bring some sort of a moral, moral standing among the people of the earth. Amen. And you have but, to fight for that too, Bishop. Huh? You have to fight. You have contend, to fight for that. Contend for that. It's like it's like it's like God telling the children of Israel, for you to get the promised land, you have to possess it. Yes, yes, yes. You have to possess it. You have to fight for it. Yes, yes, yes. 
So, 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 so not until the cause of the cause of of, of sin is being removed, and and I love that. You know, they that see him and look at that again, verse sixteen. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? Yes. That did shake kingdoms? kingdoms yeah. That and look at verse 17. That made the world as a wilderness mm -hmm. and destroyed the cities thereof. Yes. That opened not the house of his prisoners. <laughs> all the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory. Everyone in his own house. I want you to understand. Listen to me, somebody. And Satan, when Satan is being removed, he will not be removed and put in a safe and put in a place of and put in a place of of of, of happiness and comfort. No. The Bible teaches that you will be placed in a place of eternal torment. Yes. And all those that follow him will go in that place also. So it's a my God. It is all about cause and effect. The cause is still here. We are experiencing the effect of his cause. And he's still here continuing to rip havoc. To rip havoc on the earth. Yes. But somebody, praise the name of the Lord my God. We are talking cause and effect. Let us look at our last crypto verse. Luke praise. 10. Luke chapter 10, our last crypto verse for the night. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Minister Allen, you're preaching, my dear. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. 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 Since that is ranking now in the full in the fullness of in the fullness of time, he will be chained and condemned to the pit of hell. Amen. And that is what we are talking about. Yes. That is exactly what and we are talking about. And atonement, my God, is going to deal with all of that. Praise the Lord. Praise the so atonement Lord. is going to deal with all of that. You had Passover that dealt with it. And you will see Passover. Redemption. You will see both. If you look at the Greek, you will see um, both word is being used. Um, is a atoning blood in Passover. Yes. Is a blood atoned. So we have complete forgiveness for sin. Yes. We have forgiveness for sin, but we continue to struggle. I should say, Morris, we imagine every day we have to be repenting. Yeah. But a time is going to come when there will be no more sin in the world. Praise God. This is the reason why for the thousand years in the millennium, Satan will have to be locked up. Mm -hmm. And he will have to be locked up. And when Satan locked up, people will be open for him to be loose to misbehave again. <laughs> because the Bible said after he been locked up for the thousand years, he will be released for a short period of time. And nations begin to rise up with him. Amen, amen. It is my God. It is like people, my God. It is like people only open for this COVID-19 to ease up a bit. To go out back and to go out back on the street. To go out back on the street and revel. <laughs> people already thinking about how they can go and play carnival. And still being able to gyrate on each other. My God. Whether or not COVID is going to leave so that if they gyrate on each other, they wouldn't get sick. <laughs> I want you to understand, listen to me, somebody. My God, <laughs> Satan is the God of this world and he's still ruling. He's still ruling, my God. He's not ruling our lives because we have submitted our lives to Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He's not the ruler of our lives. Amen, amen. But my God is the ruler of the world and all those who are out of Christ. Satan is the, the father. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Look at, at, at Luke chapter 10 and verses 8. 18. 18. Last scripted verse for the night. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Fall from heaven. Jesus was saying that. He said, I beheld Satan like lightning fall from heaven. You know, at one time, the um, Jews came to to um, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And you know, at one and you'll see a very strong term that Jesus would have said, them, You know, you are of your father, the, the devil. devil. Yes. Because your father, he sinned from the beginning. And you'll talk about that a little more. And he was a lion and all the other things. Mm -hmm. And all the other things. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, and we will talk about that 
a, a little more on the next um, set of teaching. Right. Um, we are discussing atonement. On Sunday, we'll be going back to where we left off on Sunday. But tonight, Bible studies will be continued. On next week, we'll continue this Bible studies. So I'm hoping that you, I know we have you juggling so much. Tonight, we, we're really dealing with cause and effect. Right on Sunday, we are going back to atonement. Praise the name of the Lord. So we have you juggling a lot. Um, we have you juggling a lot. We hope that you um, don't feel that we are taking advantage of you. But we love you. And we know that the more you study, and the more you will be shown the, um, approved unto God. And you will not be um, ashamed of what you believe. Praise because God. you'll be able to defend what you believe. Um, and that can only happen if we rightly divide the word of truth. Praise the Lord. Yes, amen. Bless amen. the Lord. Pass Praise mission. the name of the Lord. So believers tonight, my God, we have come to the conclusion yet of another session. My God, and I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, because of how we dissected the word of God tonight, you are able, my God, to see through the eyes of faith and God's intent, my God, for you, my God, his purpose for you upon the face of the earth, you are, be, you are able now to differentiate or decipher, my God, pass over from atonement. You can state cause and effect. You know exactly, my God, what he's going to come, what is, what is his assignment at atonement tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. So tonight, Bishop, I know that we'll be back on this coming Thursday. Should the Lord tarry, we'll be back on at 7 p.m. for our, our deliverance night service. My God, we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God's a special season. My God, and God is moving among His people. My God, He's delivering. My, He's preserving. He's blessing. He's opening greater doors. My God, unto you tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. So it's not a time, my God, to slack your ride where God is concerned. Make sure that you sow into the things of God as well. For this special season and these special times and appointments, my God, you need to put aside that seed offering. Praise the name of the Lord. And God is going to return it back unto you, my God. Press down, shaken together, and run it over. Praise tonight. the Lord. Let me say again to you know those of you who are sending out thanks for um, what we are doing in the Word of God. Um, I want to, you to know that we are honored to um, be of service to you, um, to be your servants, and we enjoy what we are doing. We know without any doubt, you know, that um, our labor will not be in vain in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Knowing most important that you are blessed and um, you are encouraged by um, what we are teaching and what we are doing, it um, motivates us, it encourages us to work harder and to do more. We pray God riches blessings uh, on you God, because amen. we know that um, God is lifting up even scholars among us. Praise the name of the Lord. And I am seeing, praise the name of the Lord, folks uh, really reaching out with thanks for what um, 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 what um, the Lord is doing among us. Let's just continue um, in the things of God. Praise the Lord. And you know tonight, uh, Bishop, the CXC results are out and I know a lot of students, they are logging in to, to receive their reports tonight. You know, congratulations to all those that have written. My God, I know that you would have done your best. Congratulations to all students out there. Doesn't matter your age that you wrote it, the CXC. My God, congratulations to each and every one of you. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. So you have a blessed night. Praise the name of the Lord, and we want you to just lift your hands. We are not closing in prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. I know that um, there may be someone out there who never accepted Jesus Christ. You heard the teaching tonight, and you're touching your spirit. Thank you, um, I would like you to just say these words after me. Hallelujah. Heavenly, Father, Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, son I Jesus, I come before you, before you asking of you asking of to you forgive me forgive for me the many sins, the many sins that, I've against that I've committed against you in you, thoughts, in, thoughts, in words, words, and in deeds. Blood of my transgression, let integrity, let integrity and, uprightness and uprightness preserve me, preserve me. for I put my trust put my and trust hope in you. Heavenly Father, I commit my life unto you. Teach me to know you, to love you, and to serve you. Lord, be my covering. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Tonight, could you just lift your hands like this? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. All those that are studying with us tonight, could you just lift your hands like this? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May the grace of our God 
and the sweet fellowship of his Holy Spirit continue to rest for me in the Bible this, both now and forever. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Praise we the love Lord. you. Stay sweet. Praise, Praise the, the name of the Lord. Bless Thank the Lord. Jesus. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord.